All right, you know the day, like the day you guys announced a bunch of shit for like, um, like BBC and stuff like that, and all the updates you guys are doing. You know the D- the DCAs and stuff you guys are doing for like Nine Inch. Then yep. Richard just dropped some news for fucking Pulse X. It was not lost on me that it was around the same time. As soon as you dropped it, then like Richard dropped something too. I was like, huh, interesting. It is kind of funny because we, it's funny that um, me and my dick joke decks and the guy, like the bedroom developers that I have, who happen to be some of the best developers in the fucking world, by the way, yeah. um, we're leading the charge in terms of pulse chain and adoption and what we can bring to the table. I mean, that DCA tool, people fade that DCA tool. That right. is fucking amazing, bro. Like, literally. Like you know, you know what's funny? Out of the entire nine inch ecosystem, the DCA tool is the most profitable wallet in the whole thing. Mm. And that just goes to show you, man. I, you know, not even that you, many people are using it yet. But that that you shit. Go, you go into it a little bit, like how does it work, or like how or how can you program it? Like you want to give a little tutorial or just kind of an explanation of it? Um, I mean, I might have drank a bit too much for a full on tutorial, but I can give you a basic idea of uh, yeah, what it of might course, be. I mean, so let me bring it up real quick give me a sec um so so what it is a dca is is something that we stole from solana so we seen that this was a really really cool feature on one of the dexes on solana so we were like yeah yeah, we'll just take it and and see how we go but what it means is that you can dca in either on every block every minute every hour every month every week whatever every day and it just means that you can apply, say say you've got like a billion pools. I mean, maybe some mm-hmm. guys have got less, a lot less than a billion pools. Maybe they've got a hundred thousand pools or a million. Pools million. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. And they just, they just want to go in slowly on a coin or they want to sell slowly out of a coin. It doesn't really matter. But what they can do is they can set a threshold. So it, it's every block, minute, hour, day, week or month. But then there's, an, um, there's a, price, a pricing strategy on that as well. Which means that you your orders will only execute if the um, if the price is within a range that you want. So, uh, mm-hmm. let's say for example, right now, pulse is a uh, what is it? Four zeros and a seven, roughly, uh, maybe yeah. eight. I, I mean, I seven, almost eight. It's almost it's almost four. It's almost seven or eight, but yeah, like seven uh, seven seventy nine right now. So, so say you've got stablecoin, you've got Dai right now, and you only want to buy pulse chain when it's a seven or six, four zeros and a seven or six. You can set this to go off every like hour and you can put like, I don't know, let's, let's say a hundred dollars of die uh, every hour, but it will only execute when the price is in the range that you're looking for. Yeah. Uh, or lower or lower. And then yeah. you optimal order execution, zero, basically zero slippage. And you, you can optimize your buys to go within a range. And then you can also set orders to go on the outside so if pulse pops off to the top of the range that you're looking at so you know you know what's funny right so yeah in, in um charts in general you've got like a, usually things will pop off and then they'll hit into an accumulation zone right and during that accumulation zone you can buy and sell within that range for like a very long time usually usually months. yeah because it's it stays there for a, a good chunk of time especially because like it's not it's a little off the bottom but it's not like it hasn't popped off yet. So it's just kind of. Boring. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, just, yeah, it's yeah. just going sideways. You know, when we talk about going sideways, right? It's like yeah. literally you can just be going sideways within a range of maybe 100%. So it could be like, I don't know, 0. 0.007 to, uh, sorry, 0. 0.40 and a 7 to. Wouldn't it be nice to talk about and a 4? Wouldn't it be nice uh, so to talk about pennies? <laughs> <laughs> it's a 2x it's a 2x bro so yeah. you can be popping within this 2x range and you can set your limit orders well your dca tool to a range where it's like okay i'm accumulating but i'm selling a little bit of profit here and there and then i accumulate more on the way down and then i sell a little bit at the top and then i accumulate on the way down and then at some point the price goes beyond the range and then you stop selling because it's beyond the range that you're looking right. for and then you just hold the rest and then guess what you've just dca'd in to a coin that could potentially do 100x or maybe more but you made profit on the way and you actually accumulated more on the way down or within that range within you that can range. like if you're a clever guy if you're if you're a smart guy you can use that tool in ways that i can't even fathom i'm not yeah. gonna lie but like we just you can set it, can set it to buy at a ridiculous price and maybe it'll hit 
like crazy. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's like it's like limit orders, but on steroids. Yeah. That's that's yeah. how I would describe it. And this is something that is totally new to Pulse Chain. It does not exist. Even limit orders didn't exist until Nine Inch came along, bro. Like so, <laughs> you know. But this is like limit orders on steroids, and you can pick ranges and you can set timers and all sorts of shit. Like, let, let's say you're a very conservative guy and you say, okay, right. I've got a decent bag of pulse chain and I just want to sell over the next six months. I'm going to sell 1% a week for the next fucking six months or whatever. You can literally set it to do that. There's there's so much optionality with, with this, this tool and it's something that's completely new and it only really exists on Solana. You can't even do this shit on Ethereum. It's too expensive. But you can do it on Pulse Chain easily. easily. And it costs you what, like two pennies to execute a trade? 